Okay, we're, uh, I'm making a piece uh, that I've entitled Cleave, and uh, this is a little model. Got three, got three doors on each side, kind of some external legs here, and uh, these are little push plates that when you push it, it will open. These I've kind of changed around, so there's actually supposed to be a push plate down here. I don't know where it's going, but anyway. Cleave because it's severed by this large wedge, actually separated into two halves. Um, and I'll show you that over here. I've got most of these components made. The carcasses aren't yet put together, but I have the pieces. That's the drawing. You can see a push plate at the bottom on this particular door. All right. The legs that you saw in the model, there's a bronze piece that's threaded into this leg, which all these dark components are made from Wingate. Uh, so there's a quarter inch piece of bronze, and a half inch uh, you know, stainless steel bolt, flathead bolt that pulls that together. This piece of bronze will be on the inside of the case so that when these go together, the bronze will, will act as um, the mounting piece, you know, to attach the leg. So this is the wedge, which is also made from one gate. Quite a heavy push. It sit uh, out like that in the in the you know severing the two halves. Okay. Also, a couple of pieces of bronze that, rods that go through and uh, connect inside these angle sides. It's a little tricky mitering all these together, getting this all assembled because the, the angles um, are odd. Uh, this is tapered, but they're still parallel. And so uh, it's, it's been a bit of a head scratch. What I have are the, the connection pieces. These are uh, a solid bronze rod and they're tapped on the end. And you can see they're at an angle. This is a different angle than that one. And this, again, the plate will go on the inside of the carcass piece, and then this rod will go through at the proper angle, and then inside the, the um, carcass, this plate will be recessed as with the others, and that'll uh, all bolt together. Hardware on these will be such that when you push on the push plate, this piece, the door unlatches, and then actually opens up completely. So uh, this that's what all of these are and there's Wenge um, and ash pieces that I've given some different colors to. You can see this is uh, kind of a yellowish green and this is a uh, teal green and here's a bluish color uh, but you can still see the end grain. Um, so yeah, that's what those are. And also, I might add that this is uh, this rectangle is a golden rectangle, and it is comprised of a bunch of tiny golden rectangles. These are the the carcass pieces for the cabinet itself. This is an end that will be vertical, so it has 45 degree angles on it, and it will attach to uh, you know a, a longer horizontal top and bottom. Just a, just, just a box except that one end has an angle. So these little lamello splines are going to help me with the assembly initially. And then, once it's all glued, it's not very strong yet. Uh, that's, a miter is a very weak joint. But then we're going to use um, what's called a, a dovetail spline. And this is just a, a, a spline that goes into a dovetail. You drive it in and it really makes that joint extremely tough and then it has a little quark it's a quark miter so it doesn't come to a point that's too easily damaged and so I'll just make these two little radiuses come together
how my cutting has to be. Uh, what we're doing here is putting a, a dovetail spline through the corners of these two carcasses. Um, this has got a slight taper on it. It's difficult to see, but this, uh, when you route that with this template, this little jig, it makes a slightly tapered um, a notch in there that this drives into and uh, makes it incredibly strong because these uh, long miters like that are pretty weak. So uh, this is going to give us the toughness. that I want, all the dovetail splines, and uh, these uh, little blocks and these clamps and so on really are just to plug, block out the areas that I don't want to do it. Um, you might say, well, you know, just don't go there. Well, if I'm daydreaming, uh, I could easily make that mistake of going in a slot that I don't want to do. So you just kind of make you have to make it idiot proof for those moments when you get the rush of idiocy. And so here we have the little dovetail spline, and you can see how that slides in, and it eventually gets tight and fits very, very nicely. That'll get driven in and. Um, with glue and stuff. Man, that's tough. Okay, so we're laminating uh, the two face veneers to a plywood core that's been edge banded with a uh, some solid ash that the core has been. So um, these are going to be the doors and the back panels of the cabinet uh, buffet. So uh, we're using epoxy, and um, yeah, the veneer is about a oh, big eighth of an inch thick. And so uh, hopefully when this is all done, we'll have six panels that have veneer overhanging on the top and on the bottom. You can see the, uh, the epoxy is bubbling and gurgling. I think it must have a low boiling point because uh, it's now in a vacuum. In a vacuum. Uh, it's kind of it's kind of foamy in here. It was clear.
cafe that have hinges that are uh, not self-closing but self-opening. Okay? So they open when you uh, deactivate the lats. So push, push, push. Here we are. Okay, so we have three drawers, or three doors rather, and um, just behind these two I put a drawer that, uh, you know, it's just hanging on a simple glide. And then this little guy right here is the latch for the door. stages of uh, completing uh, this piece, which we've entitled Cleave. Um, these are the doors, and they've, uh, they've had about four coats of a, kind of a kicked up oil finish, and uh, we're right at the last stages. This may be the last coat of oil before a wax job, or it might be the second to the last. But uh, anyhow, um, we're going to sand these just very slightly with some sandpaper. Alright, so I've got some super fine sandpaper. This is 1200 grit. Uh, it doesn't really sand. It just takes off little little uh, hair nibs and stuff that, um, you know, just little rough, rough knobbies and stuff. Number eight. Okay. Okay. 